Hello everybody. Um, it's been quite a long time, hasn't it, since I last did a video. It actually feels a bit weird doing it, so I'm not used to it. Whereas I kind of got um, into it doing one really regularly before. Um, I'm using a different computer and it is stuck on this sepia colour. Um, yeah, so that's why I'm this colour. But actually it's, uh, you know, it's fairly flattering so I don't really mind. So anyway, last year was probably um, the worst year of my life. It was 2013, I guess the 13 should have... Um, should have expected it really. Um, I don't remember what had happened when I last made a video. I think I had come out of hospital for the second time because I went in three times last year, the third time being the worst and longest. But um, I think I had just been feeling a bit better after I come out, came out. Well, I'm not entirely sure, I haven't actually reviewed my videos. <clears throat> anyway, as a recap, I suppose, last year I was sectioned um, by the, under the Mental Health Act with a Section 2 um, and sent to a secure unit. Um, I was then, I mean, I'm not going in any particular order. But um, I was also sectioned under Section 3 later on in the year, and I was sent to another secure unit. I was sectioned twice on top of that by the police in, the, in a public area. And I was also restrained and detained by the police on two occasions within the hospital as well. So, yeah. It was a pretty crap year. Um, uh, yeah, so I became homeless because my relationship broke down. Um, so, just trying to think back, really, where to tell you from. When I went back to hospital the third time, it's so, like, hazy. I seriously have huge mind blanks about sections of last year. I don't know why, I don't know if it was my state of mind, the psychosis, the medication, whether I've just blanked it out because it was too painful, I don't know. But um yeah. Uh it's a bit patchy. But I um so uh, yeah I was sectioned under a section three um, and then, I see, I don't even remember what I told you what I haven't. I probably should review my videos a little bit. Um, but I was, uh, yes, then sent to a second secure unit due to some threatening behaviour that I was showing to staff on the hospital ward. They don't like that very much. They do not like patients being threatening. So... And that was possibly one of the worst experiences. Oh, it was just awful. Um, the first secure unit was actually worse from um, thinking about it. So um, just generally, you don't want to end up in a secure unit. It's really horrible. And I will um, tell you all about that in, an, in future videos. I'll tell you everything about what it's like. And um, you don't want to go there, honestly. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, I finally got out of hospital. They diagnosed me with bipolar disorder. I take lithium now, and I've been on it for about six months. Personally, I think it has done a huge amount. It has completely levelled me out. It's not a strong feeling. You can't, you, you know, it's not like a, like quetiapine or something like that, which really sort of bring, you can feel it. Oh God, you feel like a zombie. It's awful. You don't feel anything with lithium at all. I haven't. It's it's very sort of sneaky how it works, I think. But it I think it does work. 
Um, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so, um, and then I, I went into supported accommodation, which in the UK, that's um, kind of like a hostel accommodation, where um, the place I'm at is like 10 rooms, and um, they have staff there all the time. Um, so you can come and go as you please, but um, there's staff there all the time, so if you need any help, you can go to them. And... Um, it's not just for mental health, it's for people with drug and alcohol issues, um, just homelessness from other, for other reasons. It's generally people who have found themselves homeless for varying reasons. Um, and that has been absolutely wonderful. It was, it's a lovely place where I've been living. The staff are really nice and it was completely exactly what I needed. And I had a huge room, which is really nice, with all my stuff in it. So I finally had my own place, even though it's just a room, it's a really big room and you have a sink in it and stuff so you can have and a kettle and things. So it's kind of like almost like a studio flat, but then you share the bathroom. But there's a cleaner and everything, so it's always really clean. So it's not, it's, I just think it was amazing. Um, and they've asked me to write an article for their magazine um, because I'm now leaving them because I've successfully moved on um, or just about to. So I'm going to be writing an article for their magazine. So, um, yeah, so where it stands is um, I'm moving back to my uh, hometown again because I moved towns. Um, Basically, the hospital that I needed to be in um, had the right facilities was um, about an hour's an hour away, and when I came out of hospital, I um, I stayed in that same town with the supported housing. So um, I'm now moving back to my hometown, which is really nice. Um, gonna meet, um, gonna move in. Sorry, with um, a couple of my girlfriends. So that's really nice. So. Yeah, and I'm, I've even managed to get myself a job. When I say managed, I went to one interview and I got it. <laughs> so that was really good. Um, I haven't started yet because I'm waiting for the my DBS to come through. That's like a police check, um, which everybody has to go have um, if they are going to work with vulnerable people. And I will be working with as a support worker. So... I'm just waiting for that and then I can start work. So I am pretty much recovered, as recovered as you can be, I suppose. Obviously, I do still need to start the work and then be able to cope with getting up and, and having a routine and stuff. I haven't worked for 12 months, so yeah, but um, it will be good. And... Um, I'm really looking forward to doing more videos. I haven't had any internet access, um, apart from if I just sort of go to the library, which I can't do a video thing at the library, really. Um, so I haven't been able to do any videos. And obviously, when I was ill, it was hard to... I, I just wasn't in the right place. But I'm really looking forward to doing more. I want to do some campaigning for mental health, um, some write some more articles, do some radio... Um, and that kind of thing. I really want to. It's such such an important topic, uh, and I'm hoping. I mean, I will talk all about my experiences because I know that you want to hear that. You want to hear what it was like because you know you don't know what it's like inside inside these psychiatric hospitals and and in these units and things. And it is interesting to know, but it's also, you know, for people who, who you know, have have these kind of problems like me, um, it's nice to hear other people, each other's experiences, I suppose. But um, what I would really like to do is turn everything around to more of a recovery um, aspect, and uh, you know, talk about how I how I've managed to get a bit better. I mean the lithium's helped but it's been 
you know my own thinking and stuff too and, and strategies that they taught me in the hospital which I'd be really glad to share with you um yeah so I kind of just want to quite like to give it more of a positive spin um as well as you know talking about it what, what it was like because I think that's good you shouldn't really dwell on on the bad stuff it's not good positivity is the thing we want so um yes this was quite a long hello but it was meant to just be a hello and um thank you to everybody who has continued to to um like my stuff send me comments um and uh follow my um, videos even though I haven't posted for ages so that you know that is really encouraging and now I'm going to be getting back into it then I hope uh, more and more people will come along um, I just want you know we need to get talking about stuff let's talk about mental health I think it's a good thing okay I'll leave it there nice to see you again bye